you feeling? Not great. The aloe cream help? Not much. But the bleeding stopped, right? Finally. Good. Yeah. Huh. I was afraid we'd have to go to the hospital. That would have been a little tough to explain. So, was it good for you? Huh? Disappointing. Oh. Sorry to hear that. We tried. Well, maybe next time. No, I don't think there's going to be a next time. What? <sighs> you know, I found out something about myself. I'm more normal than I thought. I thought S&M would be a real turn on. Well, I was wrong. I see. I mean, you know, there were aspects that were appealing. I mean, I did enjoy being in control. Oh, I liked it when you were down on your knees, licking my stiletto heels, and then cutting off your clothes with scissors. That was fun. And making you parade around naked for my enjoyment. <laughs> but Jesus, honey, you're letting yourself go. Oh, and then when you, when you push that peanut across the floor with your nose. <laughs> I found that strangely empowering. But as for the actual whipping, I don't know. It didn't really do anything for me. It didn't. Nope. Because you certainly pursued it with an exceptional vigor. Oh, it's probably overcompensating. You know, I guess you can't force these things. You mean to say you uh, didn't enjoy whacking me with no, that cane? Not really. Or the uh, riding crop, or the cat of nine tails, no. or the uh, the dog whip? I, I got bored halfway through. Well, then why didn't you stop halfway through? Well, because... Well, we had a scenario in place, and I wanted to see it through. So, you know, I really thought that beating you with a whip would turn me on, but I, it didn't. So, we learned something here. And you don't think if we try it again? Oh, I don't see the point, honey. Because perhaps if the roles were reversed, you see, then maybe I might learn something. Oh, no, I don't know. I've gone sour on the whole thing. No, it was a new experience. We tried it. We gave everything we had. Let's just move on. But what about all that equipment we bought? The the chains, the the, the hooks. Throw them all out. Throw them out? Mm -hmm. the, 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 those wooden stocks were custom made knotty pine. Would you want me to just put them out on the curb? What will the neighbors think? So use it for firewood. What with the oil prices? Sachi, sweetie, I think we're overlooking something important here. We, we had an understanding. We would take turns. You would dominate me, then I would dominate you. I would be the master, you would be the slave. Remember? I know. Oh, you know, that was the original plan. But now that I've sampled the lifestyle, I've realized that. It just, it, it's not us. So, I really don't want to waste your time. But that's not fair to you, I mean. You're the one who came up with this idea in the first place, and it seems to me you're being cheated out of the full experience. Oh, but I already know that I won't like it, so why bother? I already knew I wouldn't like it, but I went through with it anyway, didn't I? Well, that's because you're instinctively masochistic. You, know, you totally submitted to my demands. I only submitted because you asked me to. Well, that's what submission is, darling. You have a, a docile, sheep-like nature. I don't. Well, I, I have a, I'm willful. I'm headstrong. You know, that's not to say that I can't be tamed by a brawny, masterful man. But that's not you, by a long shot. So you're not going to honor your end of the bargain? What bargain? We were just having a little playful... Bondage and discipline section. <laughs> Playful? You were beating me like a carpet. My ass looks like a flame broiled burger. Well, if you didn't like the situation, honey, I mean, you should have said something. Didn't you hear me screaming? Wasn't that a tip-off? Oh, you're supposed to scream. That is part of the scenario. 
I was waiting for you to say the code word. I said the code word over and over again. Sunshine, sunshine, oh, sunshine. The code word was sunbeam. I think you knew what I was getting at. Oh, so maybe I overdid it a little bit. I was trying to make something happen. Well, now I want to make something happen. I think you just want to get even. Yeah. And until you take a little bit more of a mature attitude about this, I don't even want to discuss it. <laughs> You're reneging. Mm -hmm. I knew it. That's what I get for being a gentleman and letting you go first. Oh, letting me go first. What do you mean? We flipped a coin. You flipped a coin. I wasn't even in the room. Oh, so now you don't trust me. Wow. We're finding out all kinds of things about each other, aren't we? Huh? Wait. This is a question of fairness. You kick my ass. Now I get to kick yours. Once I heal up. No wonder our marriage is in trouble. Our marriage is not in trouble. I just want to beat you a little. Let me tell you something. I'm still a very attractive woman. So, if there is something missing in our sex life, it must be your fault. Hey, I'm trying. Well, if you were trying, you would have remembered the code word. You know, sometimes I wonder if you even care about me at all. Of course I care about you. I love you more than anything in the world. I just want to give you a few shots with a ruler. No. But that's not fair. You know, just grow up, will you? I want to dominate you. God, you're embarrassing yourself. Sorry. I demand that you submit to me. Please. You know, for a moment there, you were actually assertive. And I have to admit, I was starting to respond. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Sachi! Oh, forget it. It's too late now. You blow it. It's, it's just your character, Bill. You know, you were born a doormat. That's probably why I married you in the first place. <sighs> Could you at least put on the Catholic school girl No, up? it's over. Let's just move on. Oh. No, we'll just have to find some other way to reignite that special romantic spark. I don't suppose you have any ideas. No. Huh. I'll, I'll come up with something. <laughs> anyway, you better get dressed. We're going to be late for church. Sure. <sighs> now! 